Velocopter, 18th propeller electric helicopter takes flight There's a lot of to be said for determination. Two years ago, a contraption that looked a bit like a bouncy ball attached to a clothesline, took flight in a pioneering experiment in the German countryside. A YouTube clip of a man flying the electric multicopter attracted over 8 million hits, with comments ranging from, amazing machine, to not sure you could pay me enough, to sit in the middle of flying blenders bolted together. Regardless, the three German engineers behind the baffling creation plowed ahead with their dream, of making an electric helicopter. Last week it paid off. There wasn't a bouncy ball in sight, as the slick white velocopter took to the air for the first time, quietly hovering 20 meters high, while its ecstatic creators cheered below. Featuring 18 propellers on a lightweight carbon frame, the futuristic copter which has been around $4 million $5.4 million in the making, could change the way we commute forever. What we're looking at now, is in the future, where everyone is traveling not by car, but by some kind of aircraft, explained Stefan Wolf, co-chief executive of Evalo, the company behind the remarkable flying machine. Normal helicopters are very hard to fly. But we thought what if you could have a helicopter, that is easy for the pilot to fly, and cheap compared to other aircraft clever copter powered by a 100 kilogram battery, the two-passenger Velocopter can travel at least 70 kilometers per hour, recently making its first remote-controlled flight in a hangar in Karlsruhe, southwest Germany. The chopper weighs just 300 kilograms in total. One limitation is that it currently only has enough power, to fly for 20 minutes, though designers are looking at ways of increasing this or introducing a hybrid engine. Many small rotors attached to a 10-meter wide circular frame also help the eco-friendly machine hover more easily than other helicopters. If you let the joystick go, the velocopter will just hover in the current position, so there's nothing the pilot has to do, said Wolf. But if you do that in another helicopter it will crash immediately. It's a long way from the first awkward-looking multi-copter test flight in 2011. Even more impressive, considering Wolf himself was a computer software engineer for 25 years before turning his attention to futuristic flying machines, I was dreaming of building a helicopter, since I was a child, he said. Then there's the other Evil Loaf founders, Thomas Senkel, a former physicist, and Alexander Zosel, who managed a disco for almost 10 years, who also got on board the pioneering project. I think everyone wants to fly said Wolf. Helicopters are very expensive and people think maybe this is a way to be a pilot themselves. In 20 or 30 years from now there will be even more cities with millions more people living in them and transportation will be a big problem. Maybe you need to go up in the air to solve these problems.